The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Pakibati ng good morning ang ating mga katabi, lalo na ang mga deboto ni St. Joseph. This is supposed to be yesterday's feast or solemnity, but because of the fourth Sunday of Lent, taking the liturgical precedence, so we have it this morning. Ako din po ay uh, natutuwa no, na ipagdiwang uh, ang kapistahang ito dahil uh, for the longest time already in the season of Lent, we have been wearing purple and now we are back to white at least once in the whole, in the duration of our 40-day journey in the season of Lent. So to our online parishioners, happy feast day to all of you uh, of St. Joseph, the husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Kaya lang yun nga, may mga nagsasabi na, eh, nasa na St. Joseph niyo, Father? Di ba may St. Joseph kayo dyan sa harap? Yes, in our sanctuary before, in our altar, we had uh, St. Joseph dito sa may bandang kaliwa. Kaya lang po, as I have told you, uh, nag-crack po yung image ni St. Joseph at maaaring mahati siya. Kaya pinarepair po natin. So don't worry, hopefully, maibalik agad ng uh, nag-repair. But it doesn't mean that we don't value St. Joseph in our parish. Hindi po siya nawala. Si Jesus yung nawala sa templo, pero si Joseph hindi po siya nawala. Pinarepair lang po natin yung image niya. Malinaw po yun kasi may mga nagtatampo bakit daw inalis si um, uh, si Mary, help of Christians, bakit daw natin tinanggal at saka si St. Joseph. Pinarepair lang po, hindi po talaga uh, inalis. Yan. And this morning, uh, I'd like to meditate on word number pang ilan na nga tayo? 27. Imagine po ninyo, no? Ang bilis ng panahon. We started with word number one in our 40-day journey. And for those of you who are who are coming with us this day only for the first time, uh, by binabaybay po tayong mga salita araw-araw sa apat na pong araw ng kwaresma. So per day, we choose a word that we reflect on. And on this solemnity of St. Joseph, we also have a guest priest who celebrates the Mass with us. His name is Father Mark de Manuele, MSSP. He is a priest from Malta. Malta is, Father, an island in the Mediterranean, no, Father? And, uh, yeah, malapit sa Europe. And uh, he is with us also serving and helping me in the in the different activities here in the parish. He is with me in the office for the promotion of new evangelization. Dati si uh, Father Ignacio, ang tangkad-tangkad, 
na nag-guest sa atin. Ito naman si Father Mark from Malta. Eh, mas lalong matangkad, no? Kaya, so can, we, can you please help me? Welcome, Father Mark. Uh, you'll be seeing more of him in, uh, in, in my stay here with you because we are working together also in the Office for New Evangelization. So, Father Mark, you're very much welcome to Santa Maria Goretti as well as to our online uh, parishioners. So we now go to word number 27. And we have chosen the word Joseph. Obviously. Joseph, but not Joseph with a different title or another title. But we have chosen the title Joseph, son of David. The title given to him by the angel by the angel Gabriel in the Annunciation to Joseph. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David. And we know why Joseph and Mary had to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem in the census. Kahit kabuana na ni Maria, bakit kailangan nilang maglakbay? Kasi Joseph was from the lineage of David, the king. So madaling salita, Joseph comes from the line and bloodline of the kings. Kung tutuusin, kung hindi lamang nagbago ang mga plano, Kung natuloy lamang ang lineage ni David, from David to Solomon down the line. Kung titignan natin yung genealogy of Matthew, the version of Matthew, maririnig natin Eliasar, the father of Eliud, Eliud, the father of Matan, Matan, the father of Jacob, Jacob, the father of Joseph. Galing ito sa bloodline ni David. And the reason why Jesus is called Son of David is precisely because of Joseph, who gave him a name. So never think that Joseph did not say a word in the scriptures. No, he said only one word, but the most important word, that from that word, no word can ever be added. In our gospel today, we heard about the role of Joseph. As the angel, as the angel explained to Joseph, this will be your role. You'll take Mary, your wife, into your home. She'll bear a son. And you are to name him Jesus. Meron pong dialogue si Joseph sa Bible. At ang angel pa yung nagsabi sa kanya, isa lang ang dialogue mo, Joseph. Wala ka ng ibang dialogue. Just one word. Name the child Jesus. Eh kung ikaw lang naman na, kumbaga sa screenplay, sa isang movie or telenovela, at sasabihin sa iyo ng director, o oh, ikaw, Father Jason, wala kang masyadong dialogue dyan, ha? Wala kang sasabihin. One word lang ang sasabihin mo, at sasabihin ni direct sa iyo, pero ang dialogue mo ay Jesus. Uh, sasabihin ko kay direct all the time direct <laughs> all the time wala nang ibang dialogue wala nang ibang sasabihin except one word i'm okay with that i'm fine with that your only dialogue in this film father is you say jesus and that was the role of joseph to name the child jesus and i only imagine and visualize kayo po Nung sinabi ni Angel Gabriel kay Joseph, pangalan mo yung bata na Jesus, maybe Joseph rehearsed it in his mind. Oh, I will name him Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Wala na akong linya eh. Ito na lang, i-rehearse ko siyang mabuti. Jesus. Repeating every day habang siguro siya ay nagtatrabaho, habang siya ay gumagawa ng bahay, ng mesa, ng silya, 
because he was a tecton, not just a carpenter. He was working with wood, working with stone, working with anything. He was a handyman. And siguro, habang nagtatrabaho siya, oh, isa lang ang dialogue ko sa Bible. Kailangan kong ayusin to. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a beautiful dialogue and line to have. At kung meron mang isang salita at wala nang iba, okay na ako dun. And more, it is not just to name the child, Jesus, you are also to take Mary into your home and then you give the child your bloodline. Mary did not come from the line of David. Si Joachim and Anne, they came from the Anawims. But Joseph came from royalty. Kung hindi lang nabago ang plano, because at that time, Herod became the king. And if you look, the story of Herod, ano bang story ni Herod? Herod was what? A, a foreigner. He just became king kasi kinurap niya lahat ng mga officials, ng mga hudyo. He bide himself into power. Eh, kahit noon pa man, uso na yung corruption. Because Herod was an Edomite. An Edomite was the enemy of the Jews. Because he was a son of a Jewish woman or an Edomite man. Or, but he was not fully Jew. Hindi siya dapat naging hari. Pero syempre, because of corruption, naging hari si Herod. Pero kung nasunod sana yung lineage, in the genealogy, Joseph could have been the king of Israel. Kaya yung prophecy in the first reading, if you were listening to the prophecy of Samuel, the Lord spoke to Nathan, to Nathan's prophecy, Go tell my servant David when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, springing from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name. This was the prophecy of Nathan to David. Your kingdom will stay, and I will build a house for you. Your lineage, hindi ikaw. Your bloodline will build a house for my name. And his royal throne will be firm. Nagkatotoo ba yung prophecy na to? Yes. But in Joseph's house. In Joseph's blood. And the throne remained in the house of David. But no longer in the palace of Herod. The throne the royal house was in that simple house of Joseph and Mary in Nazareth. God continued the plan of the son of David to build a house, but it is no longer the house of a palace, but the house of a simple family in Nazareth. Because now God is building a new kingdom from the lineage of David, he's building a new power, not earthly power, but the power of Jesus. And he's building a new temple, no longer the temple built by Solomon and Herod, but the, tem the temple of the body of the Christ. He's building a house for David, no longer the house in Bethlehem or in his city, but the house in Nazareth. God continued the plan. He fulfilled the plan. But the plan was more or less simplified. Iba, pero tuloy. At yun po ang magandang pagnilayan sa araw na ito. Naiiba ang plano, pero natutuloy ang plano ng Diyos. May plano si Jose at Maria, natuloy, nag-iba lang. Sa buhay nating mga tao, ito yung aral ni Jose sa atin at ni Maria at the same time. May mga plano tayo sa buhay, pero nag-iiba. Hindi ibig sabihin hindi natuloy, nag-iiba lang. Kaya sa misa natin ngayon in our mass this morning, as we recall St. Joseph, we recall that the role of Joseph was short 
and simple, but it was a very important role because it was the role that fulfilled the plan of God that the son of David will build a house for the Lord. And that house was the house of Joseph. Once again, happy feast day po ni St. Joseph sa ating lahat at nawa ang ating mga pamilya ay talagang magabayan ng banal na pamilya ni Jose, Maria, at Jesus. And remember, in the life of Mary and Joseph, you have a plan, but God has a better plan for your family. Maaring hindi nasunod ang plano mo, pero natutuloy pa din. Dahil ang Diyos ay tapat sa kanyang pangako sa ating mga pamilya. So, St. Joseph, pray for our families. Pray for all husbands. Pray for all husbands and wives that they may remain strong in taking care and shepherding their family. So, once again, Father Mark, thank you for saying the Mass with us. Uh, you will see more of Father Mark with us along the way. So, thank you, Father. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go and proclaim the good news. Thanks be to God. Amen.